What's trending in showbiz? Becky will tell us. Hello, Becky. Hello to you, Ennis. How are you doing? I'm good. Yourself? <laughs> I'm fantastic. Let's yeah. talk about Barry Massini. When was the last time you heard? It's been a while. Yeah. It's really been a while. I, yeah. I, I don't remember. know whether he's you know, coming back to do music, but um, he's been off for a while. He was on a showbiz A to Z, and he's been talking about appreciation, the fact that people, uh, he can only feel appreciated if you stream his music, play his music, uh, but if you give him awards, he doesn't really appreciate that. So, um, very much Sydney. You know, when I started this music thing way back uh, at Case Frequency, uh, 1996, um, KK told me something. I mean, he's so rest in peace. He said, Charlie, the biggest award or respect an artist, you know, you can get is make sure, Charlie, your songs are good and when you're getting good sales, I mean, take that one as like your award. So I shouldn't expect anything like, you know, they'll be organizing an award and giving you blah, blah, blah. My biggest award should be how, you know, my, like, my sales. So, I mean, right from there, you know, anytime I come up with an album, my biggest problem is, Charlie, let this album, let it be a sellout. I mean, let it sell so that at least, I know, say, at least people really appreciate what I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm not the type who really complains. I'm not being recognized. I'm not, like, no. Um, I, I, I don't really look at that aspect. I mean, I believe that so far as my songs are out and people are jamming to it, people are buying it. I mean, to me, it's the biggest award, you know. And so, I'm not really the type who really complains about not being recognized not being this um, so far as they have my songs in their cars blah 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 i'm being celebrated enough Sydney okay. right there uh, so on our prime spotlight this evening uh, this is musician called uh, face b mm -hmm. i don't know why he calls himself face b uh, he says that you should you know get to know him so and we're putting face be he's actually a dancehall musician he's okay. doing dancehall and mm -hmm. reggae mm -hmm. and so we're putting the spotlight on face B. as an upcoming musician rising to stardom can be tough while some succeed with just one big hit song others need more than just one talent to get to the top we put the spotlight on face B, a musician with big dreams i am naturally into dancehall musical artist. Well, I have been doing music for the past 11 years. I did my first um, studio record in 2009. Bed of Roses, Go Down, and his most recent single, Totoremi, are among the songs the Nigerian musician is known for. The musician who is in Ghana to promote his craft believes Ghanaian musicians have equal opportunities in Nigeria. This goes further to debunk claims that Ghanaian musicians receive less attention in Nigeria. I'm saying that uh, the reception of uh, Ghanaians or the Ghanaian musical artists in Nigeria is not uh, appreciable. I don't think that is uh, factual. There's no fact in that because we have so many Ghanaian musical artists that go to Nigeria for maybe media tour, for shows, for events and all that. Moving forward, the Nigerian talent has expressed interest in working with Ghanaian singer Miss V. Okay, right so that's uh, Facebook. This, yeah, this evening, let's, let's end with Ochiame Kwame. Which of his songs do you like? Oh, I like the one he did uh, with Yaya. Um, Faithful. Yeah, that, Faithful. That's the title. And then the Ghana song. I made in Ghana. Yeah, that one. I mean, so, timeless. So uh, Ochiame Kwame is saying that um, his values as, you know, Ochiame Kwame informs his uh, lyrics or his choice of lyrics. Ten years after, you know, I had gone to live in the U.S., I came back. I, I was around 24, mm. or, no, or, or 29. So when I started, I was 21, okay. 27. So 10 years later, I'm 30. And then now, I started looking at it as a business with brand consciousness. I started also looking at, okay, what type of music am I to make? Okay, let me make music that a father, a mother, and two children in a car driving to Kumasi can listen to, and the parents will not be afraid that the artist will say something untoward. Mm -hmm. 
so let me make family oriented music mm. because at that point i had grown and found out that okay this is my value system these are the things i find valuable yeah. love compassion decency so let me put that in my art so if you listen to some of the songs we did as a chairman and in my solo project i singing songs like washo kawakura abramiantina fisikuma yeah. obiri obi such nonsense mm-hmm. you know so <laughs> but it was after in my 30s that i became conscious of the power i possess yeah. oh, oh, oh. ochami is is brilliant and i listened to his interview with albert okran on um what was the show called? The Sunday show. I've forgotten what. Yeah, and, 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 and I loved it. I loved his thoughts, you know, about lyrics, about yeah. culture, about yeah. education. His, his time and, is. Yeah, and he's, yeah. he's thinking differently, yeah. Charlie. We love him. Yeah, we do. Essential Thank you very much. Thank you very much for bringing that show. Because that's our show for tonight. We have more on myjawline.com. Charles is standing by with the latest in business. Don't go away. I'm Ernest Good night.